Hello everyone, welcome viewers. You're watching this special presentation of Sunset TV with your host Kriti Mishra. And joining us right now is a very special guest, Minister of Housing and Urban Affairs and Petroleum and Natural Gas, Mr. Hardeep Singh Puri. Sir, welcome to Sunset TV and thank you so much for joining us. Sir, a big takeaway for the middle class from the interim budget. A new scheme for the middle class living in rented houses, chawls and unauthorized colonies. They would be able to build their own houses. What's the roadmap ahead? First of all, Kriti, I think what we should do is to say that this is a interim budget, but it provides a very significant booster feel-good shot. It comes 10 years after a government's sterling performance, as was listed in the Honorable President's address to the Parliament and the Honorable Finance Minister's context setting that she did today. The government has done a lot for every section of society. Those who were underprivileged, those who were on the margins of development, from street vendors to we had taken capital expenditure to 10 lakh crores. So for everyone, something is done. But it's an interim budget. It's a vote on account. It provides a path towards the budget which will be presented in after the new government has been formed in May, which will be our government. For the middle class, yes. Number one, a very interesting quote that the Honorable Prime Minister, uh, Finance Minister gave. She quoted the Honorable Prime Minister and said, our government will launch a scheme to help the uh, deserving sections of the middle class. And I quote from him, that is the Honorable Prime Minister, as exactly what you said, living in rented houses, slums or clouds. Now look, the Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana has already done four crore or thereabouts in the Sherry and Grameen Kshetra, number one. I heard a figure today of more than two crores additional. Okay. Then for the middle class, I think the context of those living in rental houses or in informal settlements, for them to purchase their own, this thing. Now, typically, if a young professional, young couple go to a bank and ask for a loan, they say provided at 12%, they would get some interest subvention. But I would hope that this was the announcement by the Honorable uh, Finance Minister. Let's see the scheme rolled out. Let's see the details of it. Yes, it's very big. But the middle class has got many other things also. I mean, today, today, for instance, if you talk about the metro urban transport system, who uses the metro urban transport system? The middle class. Okay. Then uh, the trains, you know, suburb, uh, 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 suburban trains, urban trains, you know, the kind of figures that we are dealing with. I keep coming back to my you know, 30% year-on-year increase on capital expenditure. It was 7 lakh crores, now it's 10 lakh crores. Now this is an interim budget, only for, a, and he's already taken it up to 11.1 lakh crores, I think, from 10 lakh crores. Other than that, you know, you, from my, my two ministries, I must say, uh, Swanidhi. Yes. Swanidhi, this is a scheme that was rolled out at a time when the economy was in lockdown position. And you have a situation in which the figures given, something like 73, 74 lakh vendors have already got loans. Many of them, have, uh, the Honorable Finance Minister real, ruled out, many of them are on the third loan. That means they got a loan of 10,000, then another one of 20,000, repaid and got 50,000. That has made them micro-entrepreneurs. That has uh, got them moving from the informal economy onboarded onto the formal economy. They become uh, recipients of all the Pradhan Mantri uh, central schemes. So I think it's a, it's a tremendous um, uh, feel-good, positive-looking budget, which is also, I think, another way to say that the economy, after 10 years of solid performance, is now ready, according to the IMF, to roar to becoming a $5 trillion economy I never bought that 2008 figure. I mean, it's going to happen before that. And then a $10 trillion economy. And the whole thing is about Vixit Bharat. So today you see the, not the green shoots of Vixit Bharat. You're already the fifth largest economy in the world. You see the precise directions in which sections of the economy will boost. I saw an interaction between my friend, um, um, the G20 Sherpa, when he was talking about how this boosts private sector investment. And the private sector is looking for a government which means business, a government which is going to 
in the energy sector deal with issues relating to availability affordability sustainability a government that is enhancing the clean energy program a government that is now talking about mandating mandatory blending of biogases a government that is talking about enhancing the biofuel so it's good feel good all around and coal gasification again that will add to the um, you know uh, clean energy program uh, taking a cue from what you said and talking about petroleum, there's uh, going to be phase mandatory blending of uh, compressed biogas in CNG. This is certainly a, gr a huge uh, green push in the interim budget by the finance minister. This is a push. It's an interim budget. That's why I'm saying if it had been the full budget, you could have expected, you know, uh, a five-year plan to be rolled out. You know, the, but it, we are already talking about um, CVG blending. I was in Uttar Pradesh the other day. We have, I think, 37 CVG plants operational there. We are looking at another 100 plants or an overall 100 plants which the OMCs are setting up. Now, there will be private sector or some other people are there going into efforts in different states. I don't know. But today, clean energy or sustainable energy in India is taken as the norm. I mean, I was so impressed today with that um, one crore uh, households with rooftops on top. You know, uh, some of my friends talk about freebies. Tinso unit ki bijli mufat yet. Tinso bijli unit bijli mufat ni yeto aap apni chat pe solar panel lagayenge aur usse aapko bijli mufat milegi. Aur jo bijli adhika produce karenge, you will put that into the grid and earn money. And the saving of about 15 to 18,000 in a uh, uh, in a month. That's right. In a year. Sorry, in a year. Yeah. Absolutely, sir. And before we wrap up, sir, all set for Vixit Bharat by 2047. First of all, we are all set for uh, 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 the conclusion of this budget session. Soon thereafter, uh, a country which is in a celebratory mood, where we did the first country in the world to um, land on the south pole of the uh, moon, a country which has celebrated um, the consecration of uh, Lord Ram, a country which is, um, I mean, a IMF global uh, growth average, you can see, it's not the same as forecast, a country which is, I would say, in every respect, which has a very, very good story to tell. So, come 2024 um, Lok Sabha election, and then we are looking at another five years ahead of not resting on our thing. I think the message coming through from the Honorable President's speech and the uh, uh, Finance Minister's speech today that this is work in progress. So whilst you are happy at the 10 years' performance, you have even more expectation and hope of the kind of things. That, I mean, we talked about um, Lakhpati Didis, yes. two crores. The two crores have suddenly gone up to three crores. Okay? You talked about, and some of these things are not even mentioned here. I mean, you will see the unfolding through the other um, policy announcements which are coming. So I think it's a day of um, one can sit back without being complacent to say, the system has delivered, and the Honorable uh, President's speech yesterday, you know, sharp one-line bullet points. We had so many airports. We have, today she said, uh, we have now 149 airports, more than double. If you look at how many, the before picture and the after picture, so today's um, less than an hour spent there, I think it shows, and her subsequent press briefings, etc. I think as all Indians will say, good good 10 years and now start rolling up your sleeves and for another even better five years. Well, absolutely, sir. On that positive note, thank you so much for talking to Sunset Television. Thank you. Thank you. With camera person DK Pandey and camera assistant Lal Mohar, I'm Kruti Mishra signing off for Sunset Television.